Hello and welcome. My name is Dash Roth and this is Siphon Filter for the PlayStation 1. Uh, so, this is probably going to be the last episode here. We only got three missions left here. Um, the story so far is Global Outbreaks, Attack on DC. I think they narrowed down the base to Kazakhstan, um, which we did infiltrate. Uh, so now we have different factions fighting for it. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we are now in the silo access tunnel, so incoming from Leon. According to our mob, the silo's entrance is down there somewhere. He says to follow the main tunnel. It dead ends at the silo elevator, but because of the fire above, some elevators may be offline. I'm picking up frantic radio traffic from NATO command, but I still can't contact anyone with the agency. So um so yeah i mean basically not to not to kind of just gloss over everything the, the siphon filter um viruses is made to you know as it implies filter out the undesirables whatever they may be so obviously you have farcom and you have roamers man now roamer i don't it's to be i haven't really followed it super closely what he his exact you know I think he's just a Russian guy wanting something. I don't know. Um, to be honest, I, I, I'd have to actually look that up and maybe I'll I'll have like a recap going at Sun Filter 2. But in, in either case, uh, you know, we Leon is infected, so we're we're trying to go go about that. We also did find out that um Marcus was having us kill off every know everybody we weren't giving them a vaccine so yeah of course we already knew that he's evil shit so um and i assume the agency as well but uh so yeah let's get to it somehow we probably hey, survived this there, the place will be swarming with Romer's men all right well the good news is i know where the fuck to go now all right we'll leave that up We'll gather the dead stuff. says the only way to shut them down is to cut the power to the whole complex. There's a uh, thing over here. This is the beginning. Right there. I'm curious how we survived the freight elevator. Crashing to the ground, but... So, I wasn't wrong originally. Like, when I was thinking like, oh, hey, we gotta fall down. Um, you know, one of the holes, which we actually do. I just chose the wrong one, and then I got killed by a grenadier at the end of this huge... Dude. All right, 
I'm good. Now there's a guy up here. You know what? Just do this. Oh, the fucker still got his grenade off, though. Ow, 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 ow. Excuse me. The fuck is shooting me? Seriously, who is shooting me? Leon, is there a power schematic for this place? There is no power to the service elevator or its activation switch. You'll have to reroute power to it. There should be another relay somewhere nearby. Now I'm surprised. At least Sam Fisher has night vision goggles. I have a flashlight. That's redded out. Plenty of flak jackets if we need it. But I can't get in there, anyways. Gosh darn it. Well, I don't... I don't fucking know, dude. Like, I find a way through only to be blocked. I keep getting blocked. What's up there, though? Let's go and get that. Oh my god, I just want to go fucking straight. I just shimmy shimmy cocoa pop over there. Yeah, let's just do that.
I'll only give me one more. I knew they were down there. I fucking heard them. Anyways, we know where, where to go here. It's up there. Solves that problem. Take the red lighting. Oh. About too far. Well, took care of the guys, and then getting down is a whole nother fucking problem. It's like, like back up, back up, back up, come on. There, jeez. I hope in the second game they make getting down easier than now <laughs> against that they got in this game. Power, I hit the power relay. Okay. Three guys up ahead. This is a, this is just a dead end. Bit. I don't know why I went this way. Apparently, I gotta go this way. Not right or left is the question. 
Let's go this way. I went the other way the first time. Gabe, watch out. Cave in. Okay, the game answered the question for me. I've made it into the power room. I'm going to try to overload the generator. Be careful. I'm not sure what that will do to the power room. The whole place could blow. I don't have much choice. This one. Oh, there's another one too. Almady Kazakhstan, tunnel blackout, incoming from Leon. The entire power grid of the tunnels is now offline, so the laser field should be gone. The silo has its own power supply, so you should still be able to access the mainframe computer and download Farcom's DNA sequencing data. You should have a clear line to the silo from there. If you can find a way out of that uh, power room, and if you can find a way out of that power room, engage. You're still outnumbered by Romer's men. Maybe you can use the blackout to your advantage. Gabe, Gabe, are you there? Gabe, are you all right? I'm here. It's okay. The power to the lasers is shut down. Now I just have to find a way out of here. I don't know how we're okay, but we're okay. Uh, I hate the fire because I don't know where the fuck I can actually go. I mean, can I go down the hole? Like, where the fuck am I going? Clearly, this is my way forward, I guess. Ugh. Oh, God. Like... Gabe, Gabe, are you there? Gabe, are you all right? I'm here. It's okay. The power to the lasers is shut down. Now I just have to find a way out of here. I mean, somehow we survived all that. That's cool. Now, I guess the way down is going to be here. Oh, this is going to be annoying.
Okay. I can't see anything. It looks like this is just ground now. Well, I got a night vision rifle. That's going to do me a bit in here. Well, okay, I... It will do me good, just... to do is do that. You may ask, Daph, why not use a night vision rifle? Because it's a pain in the ass. This is easier, actually. There's a guy down here. Now let's see if we could drop down maybe. I don't know what the difference is, but okay. Uh, let's see here. That's where the L wait, what? Uh, okay, so this is where the elevator was at. Mm. 
I go all the way up or this is just like a bit big. Is the uh, chest came up okay so it came ran this way this is where the beams were all right Leon, I found the elevator down to the silo. See if we have any Soviet blueprints online. I want to know where I'm going once I get in there. The R9 silos were comprised of three levels. There should be a launch computer on level one near the elevator. Copy. I'm on my way down. All right, this is it. Almady Kazakhstan missile silo incoming from Leon. You were right. Diavka's launch sequence has already begun and we have no way of stopping it. You'll have to find the missile self-destruct code somewhere on the fuselage itself and enter them into the main launch computer. We can then detonate it in the upper atmosphere. Command computer mainframe room is also where you'll find the genetic codes for the siphon filter virus. Leon, I don't think this is an abandoned silo. There's an R9 Devyaka sitting here ready to launch. Fagan was planning something big. Can you see the launch computer? It shows countdown in progress, and the access codes I have won't let me in. Damn, you won't be able to stop it from launching. You have to get its self-destruct codes and detonate it when it reaches the atmosphere. Where do I find the codes? There's a panel on the missile itself, near its base. Get down to level 3 before it launches. Once it's launched, you'll have to get to level 2 to trigger its detonation. Okay, well... I think I found the level 2 area, so let's... Come on, come on, come on. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go, though. Like, we're on the rocket. Alright, 
Let's see. Ah, uh, here we are. Markinson. Of course I knew you would solve the puzzle eventually. I expect only the best from my man. Where is Romer? You're asking me? How long has Romer been working for you, Markinson? Since your mission to Costa Rica. When you discovered the connection between Romer's plantation and Fagan, I did some digging of my own through our monitor at the WHO. And decided that you wanted the virus for yourself. For the agency, actually. And the missile? The missile was my idea. Markinson came here to stop it, but he was too late, as are you. Who's the target, Romer? Does it matter? Voice. I'm dead. See, that really should be a checkpoint because that's really fucking annoying to have to do that every single time. Frantic calls from NATO command. They're tracking the missile's launch. All European commands are being ordered to DEFCON 3. If you don't get to the detonator on level 2 in time, we're looking at World War 3. Okay. Leon, I made it. I'm triggering the missile's detonator now. NATO spy sats are tracking it. There it goes. Thank God, Gabe, you've done it. <sighs> I'm downloading the virus information now. I'm ready for pickup. Don't you know when to quit, Logan? We'd have made a great team. I don't think so. Don't you know when to quit, Logan? What? How did he take one to the face? Are you still alive? <laughs> alive is a term I like to use. Apparently this guy is like... Cheat. He's like fucking Superman. Where are you, Logan? 
I have a great idea for a game. On the final boss, let's make it so that the boss spawns behind the player, and he hardly has any time to get out of there. Son of a bitch! Are you still alive? No, I don't actually. Really? That's that's it. He could take no again. <laughs> no again. <laughs> what now? First, we get the lab guy started on this disc and your vaccine. No, I mean, all of this. What's happened here? Markinson's involvement with Fagin, Romer, their plans, the virus. What's it all mean? I don't know. With Markinson dead, I don't know if we'll ever know. Aside from filter one, um, so thoughts the game is is fun. It's fun, right? But this is definitely a product of its time. Um, I'm usually one for like, hey, let's have some like you know skill involved and whatnot. But like using the controller when it comes to like aiming for the head, especially in the black jacket, just stops all bullets for the most part. Uh, is incredibly frustrating. This is where something like GTA has done, where it's like you have the auto aim, and then you hit up to hit the head or into the body, you know, the body parts, which is great. And I think that's something that this game could definitely borrow from. Uh, Story-wise, I mean, there's not a lot to it. I mean, it's basically like, hey, we're just gonna stop the stop this, you know, ticking time bomb. Um, there's not really any resolution per se, I guess. Like for all those purposes, Leon is still you know, infected. So I don't, you know, it is what it is. Here's the thing, though. This is a series of games. If I were just basing it off of this game, it's kind of like, eh, you know, the story is just kind of meh, right? But why don't we take it to the end and see what the story is as a whole? Um, but uh, yeah. I think the game could also maybe, you know, help, you know, get some help from like a map that actually is being, you know, presented to you throughout the game. Like as you're running, like, you know, maybe it reveals it in the lower corner rather than just having like a little sonar thing. I don't know. But let's see what happens at the end here. Well done, my dear. Well done. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. So, yeah, uh, I mean, outside of that, we're moving on to Seven Filter 2. So, um, we'll see you in the next game. Until then, friends, stay true to yourselves, follow your hearts, and I'll see you next episode. Until then, stay human. Bye bye.